So this is the metric equation. It applies to pairs of events. Let's call them A and B. This is the space-time interval between events A and B. And these are coordinate values in a particular reference frame. This would be the time difference between A and B, and this would be the spatial difference between events A and B. I'm going to use delta x for most of the uh, rest of the course, because most of the time the spatial differences we can think of as just being in one direction, which we can take to be x. I want to stress that this applies to any um, pairs of events, A and B. So in this um, example that we used, I could do this derivation with any d that I wanted, and I could come up with any time, um, t, time was the length along this orange thing, uh, orange path, by having Beowulf, or this clock machine, uh, go faster or slower. So this is a completely general derivation that holds for delta x, uh, delta t pairs in any reference frame, any values for delta x and delta t. So this is a very powerful and useful equation, and we can use it to figure out all sorts of things in special relativity, and let's illustrate that with an example. So I'll put the uh, example on the screen so you can read it, and then we'll work through the solution together. So let's start by writing down what we know. So we have two events, these two firecracker explosions. And in our frame, we see a delta x of 25 nanoseconds, because the problem tells us that it explodes uh, 25 nanoseconds away. And then a time interval, the time between those two events, is 60 nanoseconds. So that's what we see. In the other frame, in Anastasia's frame, she measures the two explosions to occur 40 nanoseconds apart. So I'm using X prime for Anastasia's frame. And we want to know what T prime is. So I put a question mark here because that's what we're trying to figure out. And maybe I'll label this just as a, I don't think this is um, Anna's frame. And then uh, this is our frame. All right. So the key for this problem is to realize that Anastasia and us, we're, we will agree on delta S. Just like two observers would agree on the distance in, on a map between A and B, here um, in special relativity, two observers will agree on the space-time interval. So what that tells me is that the space-time interval, well, that could be delta t squared minus delta x squared. But that also has to be delta t prime squared minus delta x prime squared. So this is a space-time interval how Anna would calculate it. This is a space-time interval how we would calculate it. But it's the same space-time interval. So these two things have to be equal. So I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to solve for delta t prime. So I could do that by adding delta x prime squared to both sides. So then I'll have delta t squared minus delta x squared plus delta x prime squared. And that this will equal delta t squared. So, um, let's see, I could plug in numbers now, and then take the square root. Oh, sorry, this is delta t prime from there, delta t prime. Let's plug in numbers, um, take the 
uh, and then I can take the square root and I'll see what happens. All right, so if I were to do that, I would take 60 nanoseconds squared minus delta x squared, 25 nanoseconds squared plus 40 nanoseconds squared. All right, let's grab a calculator and do that. 60 squared minus 25 squared plus 40 squared equals, so that will be 4, 5, 7, 5 nanoseconds squared. The units get squared. And then let's take the square root of both sides of this equation. Let's do that here, square root, 67.6, 67.6 nanoseconds, and that's delta T prime. So this is our solution. In um, Anastasia's frame, she would see the um, two firecracker explosions as occurring 67, almost 68 nanoseconds apart. So this is an illustration of um, how you can use the metric equation, one of the many ways. Um, following this video, there's a quiz uh, for you to practice this idea. And then we're going to use a metric equation to um, help analyze a real physical situation, um, and we'll see what the metric equation tells us.